Hello! So something very exciting happened to my family recently. My dad got a job down in Denver. The whole family is packing up and coming to Colorado. Trendsetter. I am so excited. Me and my family are very close. But one thing that I don't think that they've realized yet is that Colorado is very different from Texas. So there's this blog that I really like and this guy compares two cities using pictures and graphic design. I, I was really inspired by this and because of my family's move, I thought, you know, why don't I try this out? I don't want you guys to be like intimidated or anything, but I'm just like, I'm kind of a really good graphic designer. I'm just like you, I'm still a regular person. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so I compared Texas and Colorado. Let's get started. The people. Look at that. That's art. People are so different in Colorado compared to Texas. I noticed this the first week of school here. I didn't get anyone calling me ma'am. No one held the door open for me. And I just, I was thinking to myself, where is my southern hospitality? People just don't do that here. But that's okay, because I've gotten used to it. And now if someone called me ma'am, I'd probably be like, whoa, I'm not 80 years old. Lay off. That's Texas. They didn't have a cowboy hat in clip art, so. That happened. Food. Man, the food is so different. Again, my first week of college, I was thinking, yeah, the food here is okay, but where, number one, where is the sour cream sauce? Apparently that doesn't exist here. What else am I supposed to have on my enchiladas? Plain sour cream? I don't think so. Get some sour cream sauce, Colorado. The whole world has heard of it but you. Also, you know, just the seedy barbecue joints that just barely passed the health certification. Those were so dear to my heart. And you don't have any of those here, Colorado. So get with it. Everybody here is real concerned with, you know, eating right, staying fit, getting healthy. Great. That's awesome. But I really want a nice rack of ribs, please. And thank you. Moving on. Everything's bigger in Texas, including portions and risks of diabetes, and boy do I miss it. But I need to get my act together and start eating right anyways, so this is a good thing. This is a good thing. Hobbies. This is the least fat state in the US. So everybody's biking and rock climbing and running places. Everybody's out and about, which I think is great. You only got one life to live. Why don't you go live it? Why don't you go run and jump and climb and be young? <coughs> also, let me just point that out real fast. I have like crazy attention to detail. In Texas, all we really do is watch TV or go to the movies because usually it's so damn hot outside that we can't do anything. I'm not blaming anyone in Texas. I'm just saying. I just gave you a whole lot of stereotypes and a whole lot of just random assumptions. But you know what? That is the way it goes and you can't talk back. Yes, you can. You can leave comments, but I think I should probably go before I say anything offensive because that hasn't happened already. Thanks for stopping by. Really. Living in harmony. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Party's getting crazy. Uh, okay. Yeah, too crazy.